Hello, I recently got back from a 10 day expedition to Antarctica and I literally haven't unpacked yet. So I thought what better way to show what to pack than by unpacking. <laughs> so um, to start, I'm wearing what I wore on the plane and over that I had my fleece jacket and in my pockets I had my AirPods and headphones that worked on the plane. In the other pocket, I kept my cell phone, which I'm using to record, my passport for easy access, and my phone charger. I had this little backpack, lightweight, and I had this duffel, and that was it. And believe me, every other person who was on the ship had more. People thought we were crazy. No one, everyone's like, did you forget something? Did you get your checked bag? Um, so I was nervous at first, like, shoot, we probably did ourselves dirty, but we actually had plenty of stuff. I don't feel like there's anything else that I ended up needing while I was there. We'll start with the backpack. So in this front pouch, I had a big plastic bag and a little plastic bag. Then I had two pairs of sunglasses. I took my other ones out already. Um, I tried to bring two of everything to a reasonable degree because I'm like, what if I'm in the Zodiac and they fly off, you know? I brought a deck of cards. I brought a mask. I also brought KN95 masks, which they did end up encouraging us to wear on the boat. So I was really happy that I had them. COVID vaccination card, a pen. I brought this portable phone charger because it's really cold there, so stuff runs out of batteries very quickly. For us, we were never away from the boat for more than two and a half hours at a time. So every time we were in our room, I would be charging everything, my camera, my GoPro, my phone. So I actually never used this once, but I was really glad that I brought it with me. I have a converter. Okay, for the main pouch, <laughs> again, we went really minimal here. I brought my laptop. I brought a dry bag, highly recommend. This was great for the Zodiacs. It has a little strap. Um, you can tuck all your stuff in it and then you close it like this and you lock it. And then we definitely got splashed a couple times. So it was just nice. You could put your camera stuff in here when you're getting on and off. And then when you're moving and it's kind of smooth, you can get it out and know that it'll probably be okay not to get wet. I brought my GoPro and this little I guess it's a selfie stick. And then I have another pair of sweatpants that didn't quite fit in my bag. I was better packed on the way there. Then this is one thing that I really thought I, if I was doing it again, I could leave behind. I know, unbelievable with how little I packed. But I had brought this waterproof sort of rain jacket. Um, I didn't wear it one time on the ship because our ship and again, check if your ship does this. Ours gave us a waterproof parka. Um, I went with Albatross Expeditions. It has a hood, it has everything you need. It has two different layers, a puffer layer and a waterproof layer. It has a ton of different pockets. So because we got this on the ship, I didn't end up using mine at all. I had a little plastic bag with my driver's license, a couple of credit cards and a hundred dollars worth of cash. And that was it. So that was completely it for my little um, personal item. I literally haven't opened this since I've been home a couple days ago. So this is fresh, fresh off the boat. So right on top is one of the most important things that you need to bring to Antarctica, which is a pair of waterproof pants. It is a requirement to get in the Zodiacs and the Zodiacs are how you get to and from the landings. So you definitely wanna make sure you have them. Um, I got these on Amazon, they are Marmot is the brand. I loved them, they worked great. But next I have my toiletries, which will look different for everyone, but for me, shampoo and conditioner, uh, deodorant, you're welcome everybody, a toothbrush and toothpaste, sunscreen, I brought both a face stick that's 50 SPF and then a little cream. I did use both of them. Um, it was only on this strip because I was bundled up top and bottom, but I was glad to have it. Tied to go. Our earplugs, which I wish I remembered because our cabin was very squeaky. SPF lip balm, which everyone suggested. And man, were my lips chapped. I mean, they were peeling. So I was glad to have this. A little baggie of different medicines in case I got sick, cold, calm, day quill, uh, ibuprofen, stuff like that. Dramamine. Even though I had a patch, medical grade patch, which I got from my doctor, the patch did not work for me. I ended up using pills that they gave on the ship and I still threw up a ton. So if you get seasick, I definitely recommend bringing some sort of medication because 
the ride there and back through the Drake Passage for me was horrible and some of the worst days of my life. <laughs> so bring that if you tend to get sick. And then I brought some hair ties and some bobby pins and that's it for the toiletries. Okay, then I didn't end up using these because I just puked into the toilet instead. And when you go into your room on our ship, they had two little barf bags right there next to the bed in case you needed them. But I also brought these little portable barf bags, a pair of binoculars. These are very heavy. Um, and so that's why I think eh, I could have probably left them behind. And I have my retainer. <laughs> I found these packing pods that my mom did that you put your clothes in and then they actually shrink down. So this is pretty small, right? But you unzip this, which you would sit on your knees and it like, once everything depuffs, it ends up doubling in size. Um, so anyway, I have two of these in here. So I ended up being able to bring a ton of stuff. Um, so for these, I just wanted to show you how I packed. Ah! All right, I just undid both of those packing pods. Man, did I fit a lot in there. Holy cow, I'm impressed with myself. So first things first, we had a layover in Buenos Aires, um, which it is summer there. So I brought a t-shirt, which I then used as pajamas. And then I also brought this little tank top, six pairs of underwear, um, which um, my mom had these little laundry things that folded up, they were tiny. And so we just did a quick wash um, using the shower in our room. Um, so we were able to double up on everything very easily. Two bras plus the one that I was wearing, one sports bra, five, including the ones I'm wearing, pairs of socks to go on the bottom. When you're on the boat during the day, the days that you're sailing, the days you're doing uh, landings, it's totally warm and comfortable. You can wear a jacket if you want, but one pair of socks was more than fine. I brought three pairs of heavy duty wool socks um, and I just rotated them out. And because I have socks under them, I actually didn't even end up washing these. I mean, I will now, but. <laughs> and then I brought a swimsuit. I used this for the polar plunge. Next is your base layer. So I brought two thermal pants. I brought two thermal tops. So one of them is a merino wool shirt, which was very cozy, very soft. And then the other one is Under Armour turtleneck. For the mid layer for pants, I brought one, two, three, and then the ones I'm wearing, so four. So I had four different layers of pants. Nobody, nobody dresses up on the boat. Um, there's not a fancy dinner, there's not anything. Everybody is comfortable, everybody is cold. So I didn't even bring a pair of jeans. And on especially cold days, I would wear sweatpants over sweatpants. So um, I think I did that twice because I'm pathetic. <laughs> So I was really glad to have those four bottoms, which I rotated out both on the landing days and um, just when we were sailing around the ship. For the top, similarly, I had five shirts because I have the one that I'm wearing. And then I had another similar long sleeve, quick drying, you know, the really thin kind as a mid layer. This was my favorite thing to wear because it was so cozy. It's a fleece lined, just, sweater. On the really, really cold days, I'd wear my Under Armour, I'd wear one of these, and then I would wear this, and then my fleece jacket, and then my parka. So you get the idea. It's nice to have layers. Again, just rotated through those. Everybody repeats outfits. Um, it was not a big deal. Gators! I used these like crazy, especially in the Zodiac when it's a little windy. So I brought two, one of each. They're both fleece. A little wool hat and a second wool hat. Then I brought one pair of merino wool liners. I brought two pairs of heavy duty waterproof gloves. Um, I almost never wore these in terms of working cameras, both my regular camera and my phone camera. I just thought it was too challenging with these bulky gloves. So I kept a pair in my pocket. Last but not least, I used most of them, but I brought 10 um, hand warmers. Like lingering in my bag is one little ginger treat that uh, Mark um, who cleaned our room gave me because Again, I was really suffering, but that's a story for another day.